I'm here today with Paul Comfort, local resident and administrator and CEO of the Maryland Transit Administration. Well, thanks for having me here today, George. Great to be back in Queen Anne's County again, my home county. So the MTA, the Maryland Transit Administration, doesn't just run the trains, the light rail, the subway system, and the buses in the Baltimore region. Although we do that, and we have about 400,000 passengers a day that ride, we're also a statewide agency. So we provide something called the Locally Operated Transit Service. Every county in Maryland, all 23 counties, plus Baltimore City, plus some of the cities, we provide funding to them to run their own locally operated transit service. You'll recall here in Queen Anne's County, I, got, I was involved a little bit at the beginning, we started the county ride transit service here about 25 years ago. And so MTA, the, what I'm CEO of, we provide $150 million a year to about 56 nonprofits in all those counties to run local service. So we're providing $560,000 this year, fiscal year 17, to Queen Anne's County to help operate and um, maintain the county ride bus service. We're real excited about that. Plus, we've given funds to the county to do what's called the TDP, a Transportation Development Plan. Basically, it's a plan for the next five years. What should county ride look like? Should we connect in more with regional services? What other type of transit services are needed in the county? So we'll be helping to fund that study for Queen Anne's County to look to the future of what transit should look like right here in your home county. Another big service we provide is commuter services across Maryland. We run the Mark Train Service, which runs from uh, around the state, uh, Western Maryland, Northeast Maryland, down to Washington, D.C. All of Mark Trains have their terminus at Union Station. Um, and you can pick up the Mark Train, like at BWI Airport, and ride down to D.C. Sometimes it's a lot cheaper and easier for folks than maybe riding other services. But we also run commuter bus services. We contract out with seven motor coach companies that run commuter service around the state. Many people are aware, and hundreds people ride every day from Kent Island over to Washington DC but I'm excited to announce that we're starting a brand new commuter bus service in Queen Anne's County from Kent Island to Annapolis up to Baltimore City and back every day three routes going up in the morning and three routes coming back in the afternoon that'll start March 1st and for only six dollars you can ride from the Kmart park and ride pick up the bus in the morning and go right into Annapolis and then up to Baltimore City and then back home another six bucks back home you can't beat that uh, you know parking in Baltimore City I can tell you because I work there every day you know it's 20 bucks sometimes to get a parking spot so it's a great deal we're hoping that hundreds of people will try it out we have three buses going up three coming back every day go to our website mta.maryland.gov and you can go to commuter bus and get the schedule and we have a, a new brand new company that'll be operating it a high quality company uh, you can ride in style sit back with air condition a bathroom on the bus read the newspaper on the way to work every day so is it just for commuters or could somebody just go shop you can use it for whatever you want to uh, you can take it to work the timing is lined around where most people's work schedules are but if you want to go up and have fun at the Inner Harbor for the day and then come back or do shopping, that's a great way to get there and come home. One other service that the MTA operates that people may not be aware of is we own most of the short line freight rail track on the Eastern Shore. There used to be a Maryland Railroad Administration, but they folded it into the MTA over a decade ago. So we have tracks all over the state going out to Tidewater Direct and up in Massey and Chestertown. We also have some inactive tracks behind the high school and they've had some problems there. So we're putting about a half million dollars to shore that area up to make sure it doesn't cause any damage there. Tell me about the award and proclamation that you received from the county commission. So I was real honored this last year in November to pick up a national award. Actually, it's an award for the, it's the top individual transportation award in America from AASHTO. AASHTO is an association that represents all 50 state departments of transportation. And they pick one person a year to give their president's award to, somebody that's exemplified leadership in the transportation industry, doing things that would be examples for the whole nation. So I was really honored to receive that in November. And the county commissioners in December surprised me with a proclamation basically saying, local boy done good. I'd like to thank Paul for speaking with us today, and for more information, you can go to their website, mta.maryland.gov.